Good afternoon. Welcome to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors meeting this Tuesday, June the 15th, 2010, on the board's next meeting. in history, I believe, because the Board of Supervisors in San Francisco voted 10 to 1 in favor of a cell phone right to know ordinance, where the residents of San Francisco will become the first group in the country to have it as a right to know the radiation levels of their phones when they make their purchases. Well, this is a really significant event. I mean, it was the first time anywhere in the world that a legislative body has said, okay, we are going to require cell phone companies and retailers to disclose the SAR values at point of sale. And that's a, that's a huge step. SAR values, it's a measure of how much radiation comes out of your cell phone and goes into your brain. I'm very excited that Mayor Newsom had the courage to stand up to the cell phone industry and that we now have a resolution that will have the retailers post the specific absorption rate, the amount of radiation emitted by your cell phone at the point of sale. This is a great step. Many people have brain cancer from their cell phones and Mayor Newsom and the city of San Francisco are the first in the nation to do this and I'm proud to be from the area and I'm ecstatic. My husband unfortunately has a brain tumor from his cell phone use, as do many people, including young people in their 20s. And we need to stop this madness and this is the beginning of the end of the madness. This seems like um, a simple thing to do. Why was it so difficult? It does seem so simple and it seems so logical and not even a radical notion and so actually very American in flavor because what we're saying is we want full information. We deserve to have complete information about the products that we buy and we're not saying don't buy a cell phone. We're not saying that cell phones are going to cause cancer. We don't know enough to say that but we do know enough to say they might and just because we know that much information wouldn't it be smart to have as much information in front of us when we make our purchasing decisions. At Environmental Working Group, we, you know, we, we believe the science is still kind of unsettled and we need to do a lot more research to really figure out what's going on, but you know, there's enough evidence out there that we're concerned and we think it, you know, people should really have a right to know um, this information and, and so they can make informed choices about their cell phones. I mean, it's, it's, it's really up to people. The jury is not still out. There is conclusive evidence that cell phones are indeed causing brain tumors and other cancers. And they're damaging sperm, they're killing sperm, they're having a lot of deleterious effects. When you hear that the jury is, is still out, that is an industry soundbite. The CTIA, the wireless communication, is trying to hide the truth from the public. And they did this, actually I was in Maine a couple of months ago, we tried getting legislation passed there for a warning label on the phone. And the industry came in and threatened the government, governor with a lawsuit, and unfortunately it lost there. And the state of California recently had the same thing happen. Mark Leno, who's a wonderful man, very courageous, also tried to pass a right to know legislation similar to Mayor Newsom's in California and he told me himself industry came in and destroyed it. So I, the, the bottom line is we feel that the industry does not have the liability insurance necessary and it's despicable. It's similar to the tobacco industry and we're trying hard to break that down because too many people are suffering and dying from their cell phone use. I think that there needs to be a lot more research done and certainly a lot more independent research and uh, I think that consumers are definitely not getting the, the full story. Uh, the cell phone industry has a lot of money and, um, 
and they can put out their their spin. Um, but you know, I think I think that's changing, and I think this vote is uh, is a perfect example of that. The SEC standards are uh, are are quite frankly pretty outdated. They're they're they don't take into consideration the fact that children's brains actually absorb twice as much radiation as adult brains. Um, they're ba based on acute effect concerns rather than long-term health effects, and the margin of safety is pretty is pretty uh, slim. So it's pretty clear they need to be updated, um, and it's, it's hard to argue with that, unless you're the cell phone manufacturers, and then apparently it's pretty easy. <laughs> www.ewg.org, and you can go on there and you can look up your cell phone, and you can see uh, what its SER level is, and we're, we're updating it. I mean, it, it can never be as updated as, say, if you walked down to your store and it was posted there, but you know, we're, we're trying our hardest to, to give people information. It's my hope that this is the beginning, not the end, that what starts in San Francisco grows out of San Francisco, whether it's other city governments in California or even beyond. This is an ordinance that would work in any community. And at some point, clearly, this needs to be a national, uh, on the national agenda, because we need our federal government to be asking the question, are they safe? How can we improve safety? How do we make sure that we're not part of some massive experiment with all of this radiation sources coming into our, our lives?